those must are ready tax planning not tax evasion tax planning not tax evasion those must are ready how many of you are salary employees or business people in the room raise your hand quite a good number how many of you pay taxes how many of you i feel how you like when you pay the taxes this is the exact feeling the same feeling like yesterday was india a job losing the match i understand the feeling but after filing your income tax return i know the feeling of you if you get the refunds this is the exact feeling this was yesterday india got win up on the match at a close margin this is a, this was the exact feeling if we get the refunds good morning fellow toast masters and dear guests today let me talk about how to save taxes though not evading taxes it is called tax planning tax planning is a legal way you can plan within the boundaries of law today let's going to discuss everyone knows we can plan only up to 1.5 lakhs as deductions everyone aware of that raise your hand but today let me discuss you can claim up to 6 lakhs of deductions <coughs> there are three ways you can uh, save taxes first one through deductions and through some exemptions finally through some allowances i will detail out each one let me start with some deductions yeah this is the section everyone might aware of that you can claim up to 1.5 lakhs by investing in a life insurance or by some provident fund thing or even if you pay if you have any children if you pay tuition fees you can claim that amount or through some fixed deposits or repaying your housing loans with this investments or some expenditure you can claim up to 1.5 lakhs this one this is everyone aware of that i will tell you you can avoid more than this amount by claiming nps national pension scheme you can claim up to 50000 employees contribution this is apart from unlike 50000 as discussed earlier <coughs> suppose if you are working with any employer if your employer contributes to your national pension scheme you can claim up to your 10% of salary so definitely it would have a limit of 2.5 lakhs 1.5 lakhs under atc this is around some 1 lakh now we discuss about the deductions now coming to the exemptions what is exemptions exemptions is nothing but we have to pay tax normally in that thing because of government allowing some uh, relaxations you know need to pay on the stuff i know everyone paying housing rents am i right yes. so if you pay housing rents then you, you can claim that expenditure while uh, paying taxes there is a lot of cases going on Some of the people paying to their uh, housewives, rent yeah, they are paying yeah. to the house rent. Still they are paying. It's legally valid. Lot of high court cases are there. They pay to house rent and they still claim. That's legally valid. Still you can do it. That's the part of tax planning. Apart from that, leave travel allowance. Suppose if you are getting allowance from your employer, if you do travel throughout India, not outside, you can't get it. If you do travel within uh, India, you can claim leave travel allowance. 36000 rupees per person you can get and for family other 36000 this is limited to only two uh, two journeys in a period of 4 years finally take for allowance and uh, some uniform allowance if you invest for buying shoes or uh, your uniform or some bags you can still climb on that stuff so finally i would say nowadays lot of people are working on technology sector they are investing on uh, ai courses everything you can still climb that allowances also if you buy books or uh, professional development courses some online purchases still you can claim on that around all these things you can claim around 1.5 lakhs as i said earlier 2.5 this uh, 1.5 it's totally 4 lakhs yeah anyone understand understood this home loan exactly the i will i will reveal the secret now everyone understood if you take loan from banks only you can claim the interest interest up to 2 lakhs but that's not a truth there's nowhere in the act it mentioned if you take only from banks you can claim 
even if you take from your family or your uh, relatives, still you can claim the interest. Only thing is you have to prove them. It's not mandatory, only you need to take from banks. Still you can claim up to 2 lakhs if you take from your relatives or family. So I, as I said, we can uh, claim up to 6 lakhs. One point from, uh, from APC and uh, from other medical expenses and uh, NPS scheme and through housing loan, we can claim 6 lakhs. Remember, tax planning is a good way. But if you not having these expenses, still you are claiming That is called tax evasion. <coughs> I know a lot of people are uh, doing this thing. Last year, Principal Commissioner of Income Tax uh, did a outreach program at uh, near to Master Tank. They invited uh, chartered accountants. Around 50 people uh, went there. I'm also one, of, one among them. So he explained the uh, thing. He observed salary taxes are redu reducing like anything. 50% of tax revenues reduced from salary sector, salary section. Why it is so? Uh, why it is happening? He did the investigation. Everything they found out, and he explained one example when uh, we went there. He sh showed one example like uh, the salary of an individual is 85 lakhs. Do you know how much the person claimed the expenses? Any guesses? 60 lakhs. Around 80 lakhs he claimed it. <laughs> he gets a refund of 25 lakhs. That's the even Albert Einstein, great Albert Einstein also can't understand how he gets that. <laughs> this is called clear tax evasion and he, they really initiate this program to ava uh, create awareness. And as Albert Einstein said, the only thing I can't understand in the world is income tax. So don't uh, try to understand it. Just, under, just try to consult your child accountants or uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a child accountant. <laughs> Do consult child accountants and file your returns. Remember one thing, tax planning is uh, legal within the boundaries, but tax evasion is not. If you, pay, if you do the fake claims, this is the situation. You need to pay a lot of hefty penalties. Maybe sometimes you will put in a jail also. And uh, to sum up, India is going to become the third largest economy by the end of 2030. If you pay taxes, it will help for the growth of the economy. Over to you.